So we're getting this question, is this normal? Well, let's take a minute and talk about it. So each one of our R series and S series 11.6 rear shocks features a spherical bearing mounting system. Well, why do we do that? Because it provides really low friction. We've got a bike here with a shock spring removed. And if you watch the link, you can actually see there's quite a bit of rotation that actually happens as your suspension is compressing and extending. By providing a bearing, it gives us less friction, therefore better small bump sensitivity. In addition to that, we get frame flex and actually shock flex from the spring loads that are generated as well. So in order to adapt to those, we use this spherical ball system, which allows the shock to free float and self-center as it's in use. So our spherical mounting system provides really smooth action as the suspension is cycling and eliminates any kind of binding load that's generated from either frame flex or from the shock spring load itself. Big upgrade, big performance. Now, why do we use that? Why do we use it? <laughs> Mounting bearings provide really low... Oh, <laughs>